Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Ray, and welcome back to Sword and the Rival, part 5. Um, let's just get into it. So, current, so the new one we're playing is called the Flashback. Um, now, no one and none of you have seen this, basically. When I first played through the game, no, almost none of you watched this part of the game. So we just got out of there, escaped the hooded kid, which I found out his name is Kate the Chaser. So we were looking for got turned into a proxy of Slenderman. And that's what's up with that. That's who she that was and all that. But uh and now we're out looking for some I don't know. But yeah, look at this. You know, I was looking at some pictures for that people take of the game and I realized how freaking like really beautiful this game is. You see how good it looks? I sound a little weird. It's because I, like, just woke up. And I thought, hey, maybe if I play the game and I'm tired, I'll be a scared or something. You know? But, uh... Yeah. Alright, so we just explored the joint. I know where, where we're going. Um, so the first time I played this, there was two paths. I took one of them, and it took me the right way. But... I don't know. Let's just run. There's no... Threats or anything right now. It's daytime. Nothing gets you daytime. You know how video games work. Nothing gets you daytime. Um. Oh, and I read up on stuff. So apparently, you do have stamina and different levels of sprint, all sorts of stuff. And um, difficulties change things. Like on easy mode, you have unlimited sprint, unlimited flashlight, all sorts of other cool stuff. Oh, look at that! A big old boy. Oh, pick that up. is this oh i think i read about this um this is uh this is an also flashback look look look, look. oh i can't zoom in on the camera there's my parents right there okay so we're playing as charlie he's that kid that goes missing in the missing child posters um dude i read about this i, I saw that teddy bear and i knew someone picked up i didn't know it was it was a flashback thing so uh all right, so here's the scary. Here's the, this is actually a spooky. So we got parents right there. All right, hey mom, I'm a, uh, so I'm gonna try going in. No, I can't. Um, how the bell am I supposed to get to you guys? But nah, you see that shiny thing over there? That little yeah, that just shined. I'm supposed to go to that. Yeah, I would come home, mom, but apparently you fenced off and all that. Screw that. Mm -hmm. All right, what's this shiny over here? It's just brand new. I've never played this before. I just see the teddy bear when I first played through the game. What's this? That's a choo-choo train. How did it shine? It's made out of wood. All right. Found that. So, I want to explain what happened. All right, there's another shiny over there. So, we're going to run... So, uh, sorry, Mom and Dad, I'm totally just going to neglect it, and you're going to let that slide. Oh, he's not coming home. Oh, he's yeah, not. So. Children these days, I tell you. Um, so, apparently, and I play on normal mode. So, as I was saying, you get different levels of stuff. So, on normal mode, apparently you do have a limited amount of flashlight. I've never run into the problem. I ran out of flashlight. Um, and the sprint is how it is because I'm on normal. So I guess it makes sense. Though I kind of want to play an easy just so I can run forever. But I'm no chump. I don't play an easy. Alright, so what was that? Another train? They're all trains. Right? Yeah, they're all pieces of a train. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh, that scared me. I fell off that rock and I thought it got hurt. What? You said lunchtime? How did I hear them from here? I could hear them talking. This is odd. This isn't like the actual thing where we're supposed to be playing. 
Charlie, where'd you go? Well, Charlie. Uh-oh, we're going to the woods. I don't know about all this. I don't know about all this, guys. Another train. So, I'm just a little kid right now. I'm like, literally just a little kid. Yeah, Mom? What's happening? Charlie. So, this is how the missing kid went. Missing kid. Oh, it's a go. There's so many paths. What the frick? Charlie. Mommy, Daddy, I want to go home right now. I'm not looking forward to this. Charlie. Charlie. Oh, I think that's me. Yeah? What? Mom? Dad? Where are you, Charlie? Charlie. Oh, look at that! Charlie. I can't move. I can't move. Yo. That was some wacky wild stuff. So that wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. I thought it would totally be a jump scare or something. No, oh, that. Dude, that's. I can't believe I missed that the first time I went through. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Though, to be honest, so. In reality, <laughs> okay, you call me home, right, mom and dad? But why was it fenced up? How was I supposed to get over there? Second of all, why don't you follow me, huh? You, you were watching me. You didn't see where I went. God. All right, so see, there's two paths. Which way am I supposed to go? Well, yeah, that's wacky, wild stuff. I saw that swarming stuff. That's apparently Slender Man's tentacles out to get me. I don't understand the many, uh. All these different paths and stuff, and what it's all supposed to mean. So, I'm gonna try and go around a bunch of different paths. They don't loss or something. Oh, apparently, that's just that was just an alternate path to go down here. Yeah, the ultimate goal is to go down to that little shack. Which originally, I was like, um, yeah, right, I'm going down there. Look at that a flare. But it's okay. Nothing bad yet. Nothing bad yet. We're cool. We're cool. Got my flashlight, but nothing bad yet. Nothing bad yet. Alright. Oh, oh. I can still zoom in. Cool beans. Yeah, it's still daytime. So, you know, nothing bad happened. Nothing bad happened. What a dog. What the? Okay. Now we're here. Now we go over here. This is where the actual flashback I'm not actually, no, I guess that was a flashlight. Here's a whole different thing. So, see these tapes here? Um, okay, I've been doing some digging and came across an old part of the land that belonged to the Matheson family way back. Charles was known to take his wife, Diana, and his son, Charlie, to the old homestead for other things. I never meant to have seen that. I think Charlie may have seen something, something he was never meant to see. And closes a recording of my findings and some documents he came across. We're dealing with something darker, Kate, something I can't explain. Oh. What happened? Memories. Oh, that was the thing we just locked. Oh. Crap, you're kidding me. Somehow went back to the home screen. Oh, man. Pardon me. All right, I'll pause until you get back to the door. All right, guys. So I found another letter. No, I'm outside. I need to die before it catches me. I'm sorry for any part. That is my fault. Everything is leaking out the back of my head. Hands have teeth. Please tell no one I love them. It's back now. Hide. Well, obviously, Slender Man. I just found three pages just on this place, man. It's cursed. So, right here, as we can see. Alright, so let's pick up that. Look through it. Picked up a tape labeled Madison Farm. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this one. You need to play the tape you picked up first. Okay. Let's go into it. Let's watch a movie. Um, one problem though, we hog the movie. 
play as ZR. Friend of the main character us, which is currently Lauren. Oh, look at this. The date is September 19th. My name is CR. On site of the Matheson family farm. Continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. Alright. So, when I first played through this, I could not find out for the life of me what I was supposed to do here. But now I do. There's absolutely nothing in this house. But since this is updated and we've noticed some new things, I'm going to go ahead and look through it. Just in case you never know. So there's no bad guys, don't worry, we're not going to run into anything yet. Um, I don't have a flashlight, as see here. Um, I don't have a camera turned on. Watch, well, I guess I'm playing as a completely different person. But, um, yeah, there's literally absolutely nothing in this house whatsoever. Just, this is also like a really small house. There's absolutely nothing at all. No papers, no anything. It's so useless, I don't understand it one bit why it's even here. Other than to spook you. And then we go ahead and go through here. And there's also absolutely nothing through here. I had no idea how to get out of here. But you see this right here? Look at that. There's a chain. Oh no. Oh, where does this go? Oh, up there, huh? So let's go over here. Go up these stairs. Still nothing, still nothing. We click right here. Oh! Kaboom! Now that's up, and we can go down. Let's go! Alright, and then there's there. I hated going in there, but... Surprisingly, that's not the main joint. That's not the main... I'll go in there really quick, really quick, okay? See how freaking dark it is? I'm going to go in there really, really quick. I'm going right back out. See this? The generator is out of fuel. All wheat and barley should be stored in subterranean stuff for full storage. We can be stored up to nine months for any moisture. Dry grain should be taken to the cellar immediately for winter storage. Cooling the grain ensures insects remain dormant and minimizes mold growth. Huh. Okay. So I can't go in there because I can't see it all whatsoever. But the first time I went in there, there was whispers that happened. Um, it didn't happen that time. I heard that scream. You guys heard that scream. But there was no whispers that time. And when I first went in here, I thought, oh, this is where I get hanged. And this is where I die. Because you see all these chains? But no, still, nothing. And then we come across here, a cornfield. And you know what I immediately thought? Okay, either Slender Man's going to be stalking us in this field so while we run around for gas cans for that generator. Or something's going to be crawling through it while we search for gas cans. Again, no, that's not what's happening. Um, so we just make it up to this joint up here. Can you see these signs? So you're looking over here, you got cellar. Never go to the cellar. <laughs> you would think, you read that. You're an area, that's where we just came from. A chapel, you think, oh, chapel's a good place. Let's go over there. So we're going to go ahead and go on over there. Follow the path, because I don't trust one idly darn thing for my entire life. Come across here. Oh, no, it's locked. What's this? The gate appears to be locked. Oh no, just hop it, you fool. Yeah, isn't that hard? You're all more flexible and all that other great stuff. Alright, and then we go to the cellar. Because that's the only place to go to. As terrible as that sounded. And when I first went through here, I didn't see anything over here. That sun is really, really... Too authentic, too authentic. And I look over here, I was like, oh, I don't see anything here. What's this? And then I go up here, and you see this. And you immediately think, as I first said, oh, you know there's demons out there. You know there's demons out there. And there is. First thought was a demon girl. No. It's the missing kid Charlie's down there. I don't know what that's about in that windmill. But anyway. So then what we do is... Go down here. Can't see a diddly darn thing. Still don't have a flashlight. This is actually the point when I first found out I don't have a flashlight. And I was like, I don't have a flashlight. And I immediately hated this. But then we click on this. 
And then now we have lights. And then uh, we're to go over here. And that cellar was where we have to go get something. I don't know. I'll read up on it because we're all out of time. Uh-oh. <laughs> so that's what's going to be happening next time. We're going to go down there and find out what we need to do. But as you can see, that was terribly scary down there. You don't have a flashlight or anything to defend yourself. And that kid's down there, just like withered corpse and stuff like that. But um, that'll be next time. That best book took up time. I didn't expect to run into that. So if we hadn't, we would have done this. So we're going to have to wait another week before we go down and get down those big spooks. But anyway, so that was the Unravel Part 5. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're really enticed to see me go down there and just scream and cry because of how terrible it's going to be. Be sure to leave a like, comment, tell me what you thought down below. And I'll go ahead and do it every Wednesday. I was dreading it. I was dreading today, to be honest. Perfectly honest. I didn't want to do it, but I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're doing it. And then we just happened to get, I just happened to get lucky with finding that there that took up time that we were going to spend going down there instead. So I'm safe for now. Um, and we got the mark. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Ray. Y'all love people. Bye-bye.